Hello and welcome to Wrestling's Issues on Noggin Comics. On this episode, we're going to be talking about what may be the worst comic book I have ever read. So, last issue, last episode, we talked about Nash by Kevin Nash. And, you know, during that era, we had a lot of big wrestlers. And... One of the biggest wrestlers there was Ultimate Warrior. And he decided to write a comic book, which lasted four issues. And we have issue one here. And, you know, I started the video off by saying it is the worst comic book I have ever read. And I'm staying with that statement despite having a need and want to read issues two through four now. So, first off, just look at this cover. Uh, you could tell the book is insanely 90s, very Liefeld, McFarlane-esque. Um, there you go. The book is extremely confusing. And not in a good way. There's books that right now that come out that are amazing, that confuse the hell out of you. And that makes you want to come back to read it, continue reading it to know what's going on. Now... Warrior is as crazy as the man himself. And that's not a good thing. Uh, when you're trying to read a comic book, at least Nash had a way of telling a story. You kind of knew what was going on. Warrior feels like an acid trip. Or, or you, you know, word rage, basically. Just because I couldn't tell you what happened. Uh, I read it. 15 minutes of my life, basically, I'm just sitting there like, ah. And usually, you know, if you're watching this and you've watched our channel, you know I'm a very positive reviewer. Most of the times I give positive reviews, but I can't do that for this book. Uh, the art of this is by, if I can remember, Jim Callahan. And, you know, the for the time, the art makes sense, but it has not aged well. This book came out in 1996, and it feels like it should have stayed in 1996. I, I, like I, said, I wish I could dive in and tell you more about what the actual story is. It, it's hard to explain. Like, I seriously, I sat there and scratched my head, like, okay, I might have to read the other three issues just to know what is going on. But let me know, have you ever read Warrior? And can you help me understand what's going on without buying the next three issues? Despite most likely me buying the next three issues whenever I find them. But that's not all though. Um, we have another book that we're going to be talking about for wrestling with issues. Uh, this one is the probably the best book that we've read so far. It is not written by a uh, wrestler, but is inspired by professional wrestling. It is Agents of Slam. On the next episode of Wrestling, on the next episode of Wrestling with Issues, we're gonna be talking about Agents of Slam and how a YA book about professional wrestling was the most enjoyable book so far during this journey. But Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We are going to be here uh, every Wednesday doing the MCE Live shows. Uh, but this week we're going to do it on Thursday for our year-end uh, wrap-up as we're going to be taking a week break for Christmas and New Year's. We'll be coming back uh, that week of New Year's. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, tell me. <laughs> have you ever read Warrior? And what wrestling-themed comic book should we feature next on Wrestling's Issues? <laughs>